Hey, what up guys? In this video, we are going to configure wireless Omada full setup. Okay, so I have a controller here. This is the OC200. This will be the controller that we're going to use. And then I have eight of this one, which is basically the access point that is supported by Omada. Okay, so I don't know if you know Omada. It is the managed wireless technology of TP-Link, which is basically more of affordable for some setups and I'm fortunate to have this set up and try to show you step by step what are the things you need to know when setting up Umada wireless network. Okay, of course, we are going to add a switch as well. So jump in guys and I'm going to show it to you step by step. First off guys, I have a network. This will be my network. Um, I have my router that is already running and then I just need to add this Umada wireless controller in this access point. So the network I'm going to be using is 10.0.0.0 slash 24 or 255, 255, 255.0. All right. So the IP address of my router is 10.0.0.0.1, which is not going to be used by any other devices. Jump in, guys. We can start right away with the OC200 wireless controller. Okay. And then after that, we jump in each one of these ones. Okay, this is just a demo setup, but it's a real world configuration because I need to hook it up into my network so that you can see. So this is my router here. This is already a POE switch. I can directly plug the Umada here and this Umada will be um, powered already. Okay, so I'm just going to plug it here. Then possibly put it here for this time and then go here. So there you go, we have power already. Now I want to add this switch here. All right, so by that, I need to plug this switch going to here so that I'm going to be connected within the network and this is where I'm going to plug all the Wi-Fi access points. We can plug this one already. All right, so it's lighting up. All right, so I'm going to plug these guys. Uh, open this one here and then at least plug it to the switch PoE then we need to have one more cable okay so this is already powered guys and uh, I'm going to access this one Start recording. So if I'm going to open up a web browser here, guys, I'm going to open this one and type in. Um, you have it in the manual. We have umada.tplinkcloud.com. So https colon umada.tplinkcloud.com. Okay, this would take you to the login page of the Umada Cloud. If you don't have an account, better create one so that you can log in because it is required for you to create an account with Umada before you can actually configure their cloud controller, all right? So basically, if you have uh, your account, you should be able to log in. And no thanks. So uh, this is the very first thing that I'm going to do. Um, you have cloud-based systems, on-premise systems. So I'll go ahead and go for on-premise systems. Okay, on the upper right corner, you will have that add button. Just go ahead and click add. All right, so we go for uh, hardware organization integrated gateway. I'm going to add this one. And then we need to get the device key for this guy. Then wait for cloud-led, okay? So you need to get that one. The cloud key is located at the back of the cloud controller. It is named as device key. You can go ahead and check that one out. Confirm. All right. So basically we were able to add that. Okay. So here you go. The controller is already here. We go ahead and click this dude right here. Details config. So organization uh, Omada controller. Uh, let's just try to see um, P Pro. 
Okay, so I'm going to save this one. I'm going to need to restart. Succeeded. Then action. Let's go to action. Woo. Welcome to Umara Controller. Continue. Let's get started. Administrator name. Tpro. Email. And then of course password. Uh, this is the access to the uh, okay password for the access controller. I accept and I go to next. All right, so next controller T Pro of course. All right, experience next. Okay, site name would be T Pro Office. Okay, so just just hypothetical device account. After a device is adopted, its username and password will automatically be set as device account and will be required when re-adapting and logging into the device. I'll put in T Pro then okay so next uh, it's going to ask what is our scenario it would be more of um, office I click on office and then next and okay so it says here it detected the access point that we have connected it's only one so uh, though it's easy to adapt a lot of these things right so basically uh, i if you have 10 of these ones you can just go ahead and plug and adapt it here and it should show up here so this is my network on here i'm just going to go click that one and then next one settings if you do not have an umara gateway on your umara gateway has already been configured with one settings please skip so I'm using my own internet connection here, so I'll just go ahead and skip this one so that I'm not going to uh, override anything. So I'm going to skip this. Uh, it's going to ask the network SSID and password. So let's just say T Pro Office. Then let's try to put the password of the Wi-Fi that we are going to provide. So there you go. We can also turn guest Wi-Fi if we want. Uh, SSID, let's just say Tpro guest. Next. And then this will be a summary. All right. Okay. And I'm going to finish that one up. All right. So... There you go, um, device list logs, global view, next. This will be your dashboard soon if you have it. Next, um, we have deploy, uh, that's the initial settings, that's the dashboard. This would be how it looks like. Uh, I've been configuring uh, Unify and um, if you have been doing um, wireless managed uh, configuration, it's easy for you to basically um, um, understand this dashboard so you can see it here guys I have one site that is the T Pro and we should be able to see oh, one site I don't have any clients so basically I'm going to check it here there should be a Wi-Fi that is T Pro office let's wait so you can see it here we have T Pro and T Pro guest um, if I'm going to get my phone and try to um, uh, connect to T Pro, let's just do guest. You can see I have 180, but I do not have any clients. So that's weird. Okay. Ah, here you go. I think this is me. T Pro guest. Yes, this is me. I'm connected to that one. 
Now let's try to add one more access point um, so we can see if it's going to be connected here. I'll get the other access point here and we'll try to see what's going to happen. Okay guys, so I connected one more. We should be able to see, uh, you can see something pop here. Uh, one device failed view configuration. When I plug that one, I'll go here and then details, those are the details, uh, failed incompatible. Check that one, beacon. Let's go back to dashboard, kind of uh, devices. Let's close this one. You can see this one, this is the new one that I connected, it's pending. So what I gotta do is just click the adopt. Now the beauty of configuring this with wireless controller is that Every time you're going to add a new device, you don't need to configure them manually one by one. You just plug into the network controller or the or the network and then the network controller is going to detect that one like you have seen in this video. And then we're just going to click adapt. So by the time we click adapt, it says provisioning. Now after provisioning, it should say connected. So we'll, we have connected already too. Now imagine if you have 10 or 20 wireless access points that you need to set up, this would be the fastest way that you can do it. At the same time, it has a centralized management. Now I've been configuring different kinds of brands. Uh, this, is, this Omada, I configured this one like uh, five years ago. Uh, I do much of Unify or Ubiquity. Uh, but the good thing about this Omara TP-Link is that it's more of like a copycat of Unify um, at an affordable price. Now the Unify access points and products are more of like a premium-ish or a, one of the better um, brands that you can buy out there. Okay, so I don't know if it's still provisioning. Sometimes you just need to refresh this one so that we can see the update um, establishing connection. All right, okay, so you can see the status here, it's connected already. So if you click this one, close this one, you can see some of the details here, like uh, same as Unify, they've been trying to like, you know, mimic um, how it does in terms of uh, Unify. But like what I've said, it's more of another kind of brand um, uh, that is way cheaper than, uh, than Unify. So you can see it here already, you have one client that's me and you have two access point. Now, the more you're going to add, you'll be having um, a dedicated, uh, uh, a centralized management software that can check these um, um, controllers that you have. You can see it here, um, devices, clients, all right? So anyways, guys, uh, if you have any questions regarding Omada on how you set up, basically it's very easy as long as you follow the things that I've shown you and um, uh, there should be no problem doing so. If you know your basic networking stuff, there should be no problem in configuring um, wireless access points in terms of a centralized management system or a network controller. And one of them is just Omada. There are a bunch of others. You have Meraki, you have... Uh, Aruba, uh, you have of course the Unify, one of my favorites, right? And this one, Tipling, which is one of the more cheaper ones, but it's kind of, you know, uh, something that works as a Wi Fi system that is affordable for uh, money, all right? Uh, see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.